Welcome to Chuggy Trogs. Let's play Skyrim. This is mod talk number three. Um, basically, I wanted to just give you an update since mod talk two. Uh, I had uh, a new video card come in, uh, replaced the old one, and uh, it's been working great. I uh, haven't had any issues whatsoever. Uh, the problem with the white line artifacts is still a problem with recording with Fraps. I haven't been able to figure it out. I've contacted Fraps and Freemake, uh, and both companies have basically uh, tried to figure it out with me, and I haven't heard much back on them uh, lately. Uh, it's been a couple weeks, and basically, um, in a nutshell, no one really knows what it is, so I'm just not going to use Fraps anymore to record with. Um, it's not knocking Fraps, it's been great in the past. Uh, it just for some reason it doesn't play well with my settings or the software I'm using or something. Uh, I don't know. Maybe there's just a problem with the installation. There's maybe a corruption in the file somewhere along the line. One of those software files. I don't know. But uh, I've tried to reinstall and do fresh installs. I've done everything. So I still have the same issue. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, NVIDIA's Shadow Play from now on. It's been really. Uh, working great and I've been very pleased with it um, so we're going to do that um, another thing I'm going to be doing in future videos and I think in the video that's uploading right now as I record this one is uh, something I call I've dubbed the name Spliceovision <laughs> Spliceovision basically is my fancy <laughs> fancy cheesy word for uh, fade transitioning when I have an introduction video attached to my core video, the actual Let's Play part, I take that introduction video and I fade transition it from the end of that video to the beginning of the actual Let's Play footage. And it, it basically blends those two, overlaps those two videos in a, in a kind of a, a merging process. And I like the look of it, I like how it, you know, you can, you can see the one scene kind of fade away and the, the next scene kind of begin. And uh, one of the problems I've been, for me, watching my videos as I edit them, is sitting through the, the tedious amount of uh, vendor uh, transactions, uh, you know, with like the uh, Grelka over in Riften, for example. And I sit there and I sell her all these different items. And then I move over to Midessi and sell him a bunch of items. And then I move over to uh, Balamund and send, sell him a bunch of items. And then using the tanning rack and the smithing forge and all that stuff, and uh, it becomes kind of long-winded. You know, it, it basically takes up a lot of recording time and a lot of episode time. Me just doing mundane, tedious processes. So I wanted to kind of get those things cut out, but do it in a way that's tasteful, but not distracting. So I'm going to basically fade transition those or use splice vision. So. <laughs> So you guys will know why you're seeing those in episodes. Um, so I wanted to let you guys know that. I think that'll be starting in about episode 128 and onward. And I may not use it in every episode. It just depends on the content of that episode. But in 128, uh, there's an episode where I'm in some crypts. And there's a lot of Draugr fights that just get kind of redundant. And um, there's nothing really fancy that happens during the fights. It's just me using my bow. And shooting them and then running away and hiding and going back and shooting them and running away and hiding and I do this over and over again for about 20 minutes so I cut that down into uh, a much smaller video so basically everything for the four hall script episode uh, which is episode 128 I believe uh, that will all be contained in one episode rather than two episodes because uh, it took me about two hours to do all that instead of one hour <laughs> and, and when I played it versus the actual uh, video footage uh, that you see in the YouTube video so uh, that's a change that I'm doing mainly to save me a lot of time and to make the make the flow of the videos a little more enjoyable a little bit more adventurous a lot more fun stuff's gonna be going on and I'm just I can't stop looking at that you got the moon and the sun out someone's gonna eclipse it's really pretty nice um, uh, this is this is a pretty area here. Um, so I, I'm pleased with how how all the mods are running. Obviously, you can see the LOD mod running here. The level of detail with the trees and the distance are all loaded in pretty well. Um, 
the uh, climates of Tamriel are is running perfectly. Our RLO uh, realistic lighting overhaul is running extremely well. Um, I, I love the any settings that I'm using uh, for the shadows and everything. Um, everything seems to be running pretty well. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with how the game's been performing since uh, we started modding it, and um, I look forward to a lot of episodes in the future. A lot of episodes. I'm really, really enjoying uh, this process of recording videos, and uploading them, and uh, the editing process is a little tedious at times, but um, I do like making a quality product for you guys, so everything's, you know, max settings as best as I can do with my computer, so we have 1080p, we have, uh, you know, long videos, hour-long videos, uh, that, um, just to give you an idea of the process, uh, it takes about uh, four to five hours to upload uh, a video that's about an hour long. And that's just the uploading, and then there's a, a processing part of the upload that takes about another hour. So uh, yeah, uh, I generally uh, I'll upload a video, I'll go walk away and uh, go to bed. Uh, you know, I'll have it set up, you know, before I hit the sack, and then get up in the morning and uh, publish it, and then uh, uh, or I'll just do it, you know, set it up in the morning, go off and you know make a trip into town, that sort of thing, and then come back publish it but uh, it's not a an instant thing it takes a long time so and that's just the uploading process it's not the editing process or you know me adding uh, special effects or anything like that like an intro video um, anyway some of the other mods that we're gonna have running here uh, are an NPC mod that's gonna be it's already in the background but I haven't met the NPC yet um, but we will be meeting the NPC very shortly because uh, well I have technically met the NPC, it's just not in the video right now. I have to edit the video, so uh, this NPC is doing awesome too. It's uh, it's really impressive how well this NPC is working. I love the dialogue, uh, I love the uh, style of uh, character this NPC is, and how well it's performing uh, so far. Um, then also I have uh, the scarcity mod in action, which Obviously, yeah, I had that since uh, episode 120 or so, but uh, the scarcity, scarcity mod, what I like about it is it makes the game feel a lot more gritty. You know, it's a more believable world to me that not everyone's running around with magical items up the wazoo. You know, it's, it's uh, you know, you find a magical sword, it's a rare thing. Um, I always liked the idea that magical items were, you know, rare in a fantasy world that, you know, when you got one, like a, a magical sword or a magical shield, like, say, like in Dungeons & Dragons, if you got this, this sword Flame Tongue, to me that was, like, the only Flame Tongue in the world, and I wouldn't find it on just some random guy walking along, most likely. Most likely I'd have to find it on some great, you know, knight or some great warrior or some great wizard that's using it um, as a weapon uh, or keeps it on a mantle somewhere in their their uh, fortified castle high in the mountains. Something like that. Something where it's you have to work and earn that item and, uh, and work for it. So uh, that's what Scarcity Mod does for me. It makes the game feel like I have to earn everything. The potions, the scrolls, the magical items are extremely rare. Um, so much so that I've actually had to change my guy around a little bit. I'm starting to... Uh, Troggy Trog is starting to use alchemy, going to the alchemy table and really making a lot of potions. And in fact, I think he uh, will be spending some perk points in alchemy as well to get the ability to make better potions. You know, potions with stronger effects and, you know, better resistances and that sort of thing. So, uh, so in time, I think you're going to see that that mod by itself has forced me to change my gameplay. Um, which I like. I like that it's done that. And I enjoy that the game is a lot tougher to, to play now um, in, in that sense, you know, having to go in a fight and realizing that I'm fighting a dragon and I'm down to three potions and the dragon's got 90% of its health left, uh, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to change my tactics and it makes it a lot tougher. And uh, so that's one thing I like about Scarcity Mod. Um, the, the other mod uh, is Deadly Dragons, speaking of dragons, um, the other mod I want to talk about is Deadly Dragons. It is really starting to 
uh, come into play more and more in the game. I think you recently, I think it was episode 125, uh, we had a fight with the dragon, and uh, we'll be seeing more fights with dragons on a more regular basis. Um, there's an effect in Deadly Dragons called the Dragon Assault, and when the assault starts, it's insane because it comes out of nowhere, and you're walking along, you might be in a fight with some other NPCs, you might be talking to somebody, a passerby, you might be on the edge of town, and it's on a uh, random schedule, and I don't know when it's going to happen, but in one of the more recent episodes that I haven't... Uh, upload it yet that I still am in the editing process uh, right now but eventually we'll get it uploaded in that episode uh, I have a, a random dragon fight that is awesome it is so amazing and I don't want to spoil it but it was a lot of fun and it wasn't a typical dragon it was a uh, because deadly dragons I have it where it adds non lore friendly dragons as well as the lore friendly ones so it's like more varieties of dragons rather than just frost dragons and fire dragons. So we have all kinds of dragons, liches and you know uh, poison type dragons, and just a whole you know cornucopia of dragons, I guess. And what's, what's really great about that is uh, you don't know what to expect and you don't know what to bring with you. So you kind of have to be ready for just about anything, either tactically or. Uh, you know, with items or with followers or whatever. Uh, so it's going to change what well, already has changed the way I play the game um, because I have to always carry around a lot more arrows than I normally do. I mean, I pick up arrows more than I used to. Normally when I play the game, I don't care about having a lot of arrows because usually 20 to 30 arrows does the trick. Uh, but now I need several hundred arrows uh, because some of these dragons are just really, really tough. Um... I did bump the uh, the other thing I wanted to make a note of is that I did bump the difficulty down to expert. Um, I believe that's what Gopher uh, from Gopher Bidge uses, and uh, I enjoy watching a lot of his videos. And I thought, you know, I've been playing on legendary initially, but with the mods, I brought it down to master because the enemy uh, mods, the enemy AI mods, and the deadly dragons, I had to lower the difficulty just because of that. But I found that. Uh, the fights, especially without a follower, are really, really long and really, really tough. So much so that it's kind of counterproductive to make a recording of them because they just take so much time that there's not a whole lot being done in an episode except me just fighting a couple bandits. Uh, so what I've decided to do is bump it down to expert, and I did that just recently. Um, I think you know a couple episodes back or an episode back. So we're playing on expert difficulty now um, with the mods, with all the enemy AI mods. And I'll probably bump it back up to master in time, um, maybe even legendary. It, it'll just depend on how the game feels. Right now it's really difficult and really challenging. The fights are, uh, they got a good feel to them. They feel about right as far as how tough they are. And uh, I think we'll stick with that. So anyway, I, I want to let you guys know what was going on in recent episodes and with me making episodes, uh, the Splice of Vision thing will be a great uh, thing to, to have. I think you guys will appreciate that change. And uh, anyway, that's about it for our mod talk. Just enjoying the views here in Skyrim, just uh, southwest of Riften here near Iverstead. Um, uh, keep looking for new videos. I'm posting a lot of them, and uh, I hope to see you guys. In the comment sections, give me some feedback. Let me know how things are going. Um, say hi if you don't have anything else to say. Uh, I do appreciate my uh, fans and followers and those who watch the videos.